Time is the one resource on Earth that has the highest value. Love Time and Living Time The human body starts to die as soon as it is born. You didn't quite catch that, in my opinion. I'll say it again, the human body starts to die as soon as it is born, though different people experience death in different ways. Some of us aid in their accelerated movement. And some of them stop it from happening sooner rather than later. How much time do we waste each day doing things that are unrelated to our dreams, passions, and goals? How often do you look back on your day and ask yourself, did I accomplish anything that I set out to do today? Write down your objectives for the day each and every day. There are two goals each day, regardless. If you can complete those, you will be doing more than just getting through the day, you will be living and realizing your dreams. Spend some time improving yourself by reading, researching, living, and trying new things. Everything revolves around that. They write the date of your birth on the left side of the tombstone. A new date is added to the right side of the tombstone after your passing. The most significant thing on that gravestone, however, is the dash in the middle, which indicates that you were able to influence and touch the lives of others throughout that entire time period. You were able to leave your mark on this planet. Nobody can undo the legacy you managed to create. No matter what, you managed to make sure that people remembered who you were. You'll remember your why not the why you did something, but your why why you got up in the morning, why you pushed yourself past exhaustion and gave up your reason for moving on and accomplishing things in life when you live in for that dash in the middle. The dash in the center. That is what motivates you. How would you rate your physical appearance and health on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you allowing yourself to become overweight and out of shape? Are you conscious of your health? Are you watching what you put into your body? Do you make a conscious effort to exercise? George Burns once said that while we cannot stop aging, we don't have to grow old. Because we don't prioritize taking care of ourselves, many of us die young. Your environment is a very good indicator on a scale of 1 to 10. Is it what you want it to be? Do you find it desirable? Are you satisfied with your job or career? Someone once said that 85% of Americans are unhappy with their jobs, or are you spending 8 hours a day doing work that is not challenging, that doesn't require you to stretch your mind, that doesn't stimulate you, that doesn't inspire you? If you consistently engage in that, it must impact your relationships, motivation level, and self-perception. When you ask yourself whether a relationship is nourishing or toxic, whether it drains you or strengthens you, how motivated are you to take action? Many people will vanish from the universe with no trace. No one will know they were here, and we could even put under their name, they're not used up. Just take a moment to think about what you're contributing, what you're leaving behind, and what will be different because you came this way. What are you doing this for in life? Write down your why. If it makes you cry, that's not your why. Again, if your why makes you cry, it's probably not a good reason. Instead, your why should be something so significant that it shifts your family tree or transforms the way you view your life overall, including your home, family, religion, and purpose. Your passion comes to mind. Consider your possibilities. And that's how you discover your calling. When your passion, opportunity, and calling collide, that's when you'll know. It is the day that matters the most in your life. You are aware of your existence in this planet? If your response is in the affirmative, then, you need no encouragement to be up and doing in order to become the true person you are made to be. Use your time well and your life would be golden.